In this demo, I'll go over how to send your crypto tokens from a centralized exchange to your very own user-controlled Web3 wallet. Why do this? Well, when your funds are on a centralized exchange, they actually have the final control over those assets. If something happens to the centralized exchange, you will not be able to recover your funds. By moving your crypto tokens to your very own user-controlled wallet, it puts you and only you in total control over your funds. You'll also need your funds in your Web3 wallet in order to use them in Web3 applications. Let's dive in. I am logged into the account on my Coinbase exchange. Now I'm going to show you how to send tokens from Coinbase, the centralized exchange, to Coinbase, the user-controlled wallet. First, I'm going to select my assets on the left-hand side. This will bring up the tokens that I have in my Coinbase account. Here I have Ethereum and Solana. Now I'm going to send some Ethereum from the Coinbase exchange to my Coinbase wallet. The easiest way to do this is to navigate down to the token, go all the way to the right where the three dots are and click on it. This will open a menu of options. Now I will click send. Now I need my wallet address. I'm going to open my Coinbase wallet pinned in the bookmarks bar in the top of my browser. The easiest way to copy my address is to click on these two squares next to the name. I'll see Ethereum, Solana, and Bitcoin. I am sending Ethereum to my Coinbase wallet, so I must paste in my Ethereum address. If I send these Ethereum tokens to my Solana address, they will be lost forever. If I send these Ethereum tokens to my Bitcoin address, they will be lost forever. You're sending this over the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum tokens go over the Ethereum blockchain to Ethereum wallet addresses. So I'm going to click the two squares next to Ethereum. Then I'm going to paste my copied address into the two box on the Coinbase exchange. Then I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to select the network I want to send it over. Today I'm going to send it over the Ethereum network, so I am going to select Ethereum. I will enter the amount in USD. Today I'm just going to send 10 USD over. Then I'm going to select preview. I'm going to confirm that everything looks good. Then I'm going to double check the address is correct. If the address is not correct, you will lose your money forever. So I wrote this Ethereum wallet address down on a sticky note. I'm going to check it out. It looks the same. Now that I'm confident everything looks good, I'm going to select send now. It will take a few minutes to send from the exchange to my wallet. To confirm my $10 of ETH made it to my Coinbase wallet, I'm going to open it and check. I'm going to click the icon in my bookmarks bar to open my wallet. I'm going to see that yes, the value in my wallet increased by $10. I can also check by clicking transactions in the bottom middle of the pop out wallet. This will open a new tab where I can see my transactions received from Coinbase. That is how you send ETH from Coinbase the exchange to Coinbase, your user controlled wallet. Now let's send some Solana from the exchange to my wallet. I'm gonna to go to the three dots to the right of Solana and click on them. Then I'm going to select send. Now I'll need to copy the Solana address in my Coinbase wallet. I'm going to open the pop-up by clicking the Coinbase icon. I'm going to go to the two boxes in the top right of my wallet. I'm going to go to Solana and copy Solana by clicking on the two boxes. Then I'm going to paste the address in and hit enter. I'm going to send 10 US dollars worth of Solana. Then I'm going to select preview. I'm going to double check that my Solana address in fact matches up with the one here. I have it written down on this sticky note. It is in fact the same address. And then I'm going to select send now. To confirm my Solana made it from the exchange to my browser wallet, I'm going to click on the icon in my bookmarks bar. And if I look at my crypto, I see I in fact have Solana now in my wallet. And that is how you send both ETH from an exchange to your Web3 wallet and Solana from the exchange to your Web3 wallet. No matter what your exchange looks like, it's going to follow the same process. Copying that public address, either for ETH or Solana, pasting it in to the exchange, making sure you put the right address in, then sending. 